there that painted the first day of spring in 1929, the Surrealist dude. Yeah, um, oil and collage on panel, 49.9 by 64 centimetres. That's right, yeah, at the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah. Who was he? Salvador Dali! How do you describe the first day of spring by Dali? Um, this work is an example of Dali's um, surreal and meticulous style of painting due to the defined use of shape, line, tone and um, symbols. Dali also uses the technique of hyperrealism in the first day of spring. How is the artwork displayed and why do you think the artist has made these specific choices? Well, the artwork's displayed in a museum, so it's targeting a specific audience. And um, I believe Dali has chosen to display his work this way to um, communicate his feelings and emotions to this specific audience. So I think he'd like to describe the way that he feels about this relationship and um, also um, just sort of express his feelings for his own personal gain and own personal benefit. How do these choices affect the way the audience interact and understand the artwork? Well, the display of this work is sort of quite um, deserted and it's quite a vast landscape. And I believe that um, this work and the way it's displayed provokes lots of questions and queries um, for the audience and responders. Um, I believe that they question um, why there's a long road running down the centre and what this has to do with the whole overall meaning of the work, as well as um, why there are lots of figures in pairs and two figures that are individually placed. Discuss um, the first day of spring from the perspective of the subjective frame. Despite its chaotic appearance, the first day of spring is a substantially emotional work for Dali and is centred on a theme which is of great personal significance to him. And this work is essentially a portrayal of Dali's strained relationship with his father and how he desires to recover this damaged relationship. And throughout this work, many of the isolated symbols depict a sense of sorrow, such as the grieving man leaning on the feminine figure in the front foreground, which highlights grief. And the symbol behind these figures is a painting of a cheerful scene, representing Dali's longing to How has the world that Dali lived in influenced his art making? Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist whose work on the subconscious had a great impact on Dali. He believed in his theory of the unconscious, conscious and pre-conscious mind with each state of consciousness contributing to a different aspect of reality. It sparked Dali's creation of the paranoid critical method where he self-induced a paranoid state. He employed it in the production of paintings and other artworks, especially those that involved optical illusions and other multiple images. Dali was also fascinated with microbiology, as well as the alien and bizarre discoveries made under the microscope. This is because of the many parallels drawn between the microscopic and dreams, whimsical forms and unexpected discoveries. In the first day of spring, the amoeba form in the centre front of the foreground also highlights Dali's interest in juxtaposing the microscopic with the panoramic. This microscopic creature is placed within a vast landscape, transforming it into a dreamlike image. Dali was also connected to the land where he grew up, Fugardis. The rocks and landforms influenced many of the shapes in his work.